All right, another quick video exposing the Catholic doctrines and Jesuit heresies of Rich Pankowski over at Warriors for Antichrist Ministry. Uh, I showed in my other video that he has numerous Jesuit doctrines. He displays a lot of uh, red warning flags of a Jesuit coadjutor, but it's not just in the Jesuit documents. Even the Catechism itself, you know, teaches a lot of the same stuff as Rich Pankowski, or should I say, Pankowski teaches a lot of the same heresies as there are in the Catechism regarding salvation and whatnot. Basically, salvation is not. It was not finished at the cross. It's not a one-time event. It's a process of you staying saved by your holiness. And if you sin, you lose your salvation. That's what these guys preach. And it's in the catechism. Let me show you that. I'm going to show you that in this video. This is in uh, Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 162. Faith is an entirely free gift that God makes to man. We can lose this priceless gift, as St. Paul indicated to St. Timothy, wage the good warfare, holding faith and a good conscience. By rejecting conscience, certain persons have made shipwreck their faith. Of course, they take that verse completely out of context. To live, grow, and persevere in the faith until the end, we must, we must establish it with the word of God. We must beg the Lord to increase our faith. It must be working through charity, abounding in hope, and rooted in the faith of the church. See, it's all about you. You're having to basically stay saved by what you do. That's what Pankowski teaches. You're maintaining, see, uh, he can deny all he wants, but he is working his way to heaven. If you're having to live holy to stay saved, you are working your way to heaven. Plain and simple, because salvation is completely hinging on you doing stuff to keep yourself saved. Uh, this is in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1874. To choose deliberately, that is, both knowing it and willing it, something gravely contrary to the divine law and to the ultimate end of man is to commit a mortal sin. This destroys in us the, char the uh, charity without which eternal beatitude is impossible. Unrepented, it brings eternal death. See, in Roman Catholicism, salvation is, you know, you lose it, obviously, which again, Pekoski teaches, but you lose it, you get it back. You lose it, you get it back. You lose it, you get it back. You know, it's it's a process. You see, their salvation, see, Pekoski, his salvation was not finished at the cross. It's it's relying on him staying saved, just like a Roman Catholic. And then it's this thing of, you, you get it, you lose it, you get it, you lose it. You know, it's totally hinging on you, not about Jesus Christ. This is in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, uh, paragraph 1033. We cannot be united with God unless we freely choose to love him, but we cannot love God if we sin gravely against him, against our neighbor, or against ourselves. He who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer hath, has eternal life abiding in him. Our Lord warns us that we shall be separated from him if we fail to meet the serious needs of the poor and the little ones who are his brethren. To die in mortal sin without repenting and accepting God's merciful love means remaining separated from him forever by our own free choice. The state of definitive self-exclusion from the communion with God and the blessed is called hell. Again, exactly what is taught by uh, Rich Pankowski and many other uh, SOPA, you know, SOPA style street papists is basically your, your ba and also the thing of, of your basically meriting your salvation by warning others. You see that in there as well. But you see, again, you see it's totally hinging on you keeping yourself saved, just like Pankowski teaches, you know, that's the, that's the truth of the matter. Roman Catholicism uh, is a workspace salvation, obviously, but a lot of these street papists like Pankowski teach the exact same thing. Because salvation is not about Jesus Christ saving me. Jesus Christ, and by the way, a lot of these guys also deny, sorry, some motorcycles went by. A lot of these guys also deny the fact that the blood of Christ washes away all sins, just like what Rome teaches. Uh, but when it comes to losing your salvation, and by the way, too, I should point this out as well. I'm not easy believism. Easy believism, antinomianism are heresy as well. Because uh, here's the difference. Easy believism is basically you're saved by faith amen but you sin and there's no consequences there's no temporal punishment there's pretty much you sin all you want and you know god just looks the other way that's that's wicked that's heresy as well okay easy believism is heresy and so is this hyper workspace gospel of pankowski both are it's a false dichotomy i'll put it like that a false dichotomy of heresy okay uh jesus christ provides salvation but if you sin god's not going to look the other way he chastises you you can see that in first corinthians 11 verse 28 down to verse 32 and hebrews chapter 12 verse 5 down to verse 11. And the chastisement of God is something these these uh, street papists like Minkowski have zero understanding of whatsoever. They have zero understanding of repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because they have never repented. They're still He's uh, still a lost hellbound sinner himself. Same thing with the law of these easy believers heretics. That's the truth of the matter. But when it comes to eternal security, there's numerous scriptures that, that prove 
basically the fact that God is who, who keeps you safe. God is, is who provides your salvation. Okay. Uh, here's some um, references to give you. The Holy Spirit abides with you forever. John 14, verse 16 to 17. You are sealed with the Holy Spirit of God. Ephesians 1, 13 to 14. Ephesians 4, 30. And 2 Corinthians 1, verse 21 to 22. Jesus Christ gave you everlasting consolation. 2 Thessalonians 2, 16. God performs a good work in you until the day of Christ. Philippians 1, 6. You see, notice that it's God who's doing it. God's the one who, who uh, is the author of your faith, author and finisher of, of your salvation. You're confirmed unto the end. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 7 to 8. You're preserved unto God's heavenly kingdom. 2 Timothy 4, verse 18. Jesus will not cast you out or lose you. Uh, John chapter 6, verse 35 to 40, you will not perish or come into condemnation. John 5, 24, John 3, 16 to 18, and John 10, verse 28 to 30, you're kept by the power of God. See, it's God who's, uh, who, who uh, is the author of your salvation. 1 Peter 1, verse 3 to 5, uh, you will not be condemned with the world. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 28 down to verse 32, nothing can separate you from God's love. Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 39, I mean, numerous scriptures prove basically the fact that God is who, is who saves you. You know, you're not saving yourself unless you're a self-righteous work salvation papist like Minkowski is. You know, and the fact that he has these multiple different Catholic doctrines is, in fact, a red warning flag of somebody who is a Jesuit coadjutor trying to bring in Catholic heresies, Jesuit doctrine into, you know, uh, the, the you know the body of Christ. Of course, he doesn't. Even, and the fact that he pushes the the modern versions too, the newer, you know, the ESV, the NIV, and whatever else. You know, those those Bibles are are uh, Jesuit. They had Jesuits over overseeing the translation of them. So I wanted to show you guys that, uh, by the way, uh, Pankowski, like I said, is a Jesuit co and a lot of his doctrines is also taught in the Council of Trent too, which had Jesuits overseeing it. So it's not just me throwing around accusations blindly. Uh, a lot of Pankowski's behavior is uh, similar to that of proven Jesuit co like Martin Richling. So that, I've shown that in other videos. So I wanted to show you guys this thing. Uh, don't be deceived by Rich Pankowski. He is of the devil. He is a false prophet, a wolf, minister of Satan. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.